Hey everybody, Jim Powers with MaryvilleSaints.com and Saints Vision as we catch up with our coaches this week and joining us on the women's soccer side, it's their assistant coach, Lori Klupney. And Lori, great one on Friday, first time we've ever beat Rockhurst in, you know, program history. Lose on Sunday and, and, you know, a game that I just, some things just didn't go our way, but it doesn't affect us in the standings. We pretty much stay in that number three slot. Talk about the weekend and especially the win against Rockhurst on Friday. Yeah, I think, um, you know, it, it, the win against Rockhurst was big uh, and, and scoring three goals uh, was, was big for us just to, to kind of get that, uh, that notch under our belt. Uh, the game Sunday was it was a, it was a weird game. You know, I thought um, the team actually played pretty well and had a, a good amount of possession. Um, I just think you know we didn't have that urgency to to fight and to win the game. Um, that's that's GLVC soccer for you. It's it's a tough conference. Every you know it's it's you got to bring it every game. And uh, it wasn't our best performance, but uh, I also don't think it was a step backwards. I think we'll we can learn from it and, and just. Uh, uh, you know, kind of tweak a couple things and get ready for next weekend. And, and that's the good thing about this time of year, too, is a game like that can kind of get you to look at some things differently. And especially with the four games we've got coming up over the next, you know, two weeks, not going to be a cakewalk for us. It never is in the GLVC, but you got McKendry lurking there. You got an S&T team that is still scary sometimes, you know, especially battling down in the bottom part, trying to make it into the tournament. And then you got Umsel sitting there, which we all know the backyard rivalry. So a game like that kind of lets you look at some different things and get a better idea on what you guys need to work on on your own instead of working on somebody else's stuff. Exactly. Sometimes, uh, you know, you do learn more from a loss uh, than you do from a win oftentimes. So it kind of uh, made us reevaluate uh, things and, and kind of, uh, uh, you know, get back to the drawing board, so to speak. Uh, but we do have, we've got, uh, you know, a, a rough four games left. Um, every team poses different challenges, and uh, we really do need some some key results here in order to uh, to go where we want to go. Talk about S and T. Like I said, they're down in that bottom part, doing a lot of battling right now. What are some of the things that you've seen on film that you guys need to do on Friday evening to come away with a victory? I tell you what, um, I'm watching S and T, and I'm thinking, how in the world are they sitting at the bottom of the of the standings? They're 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 really a quality team. Uh, a lot of their losses have been one goal losses, so that's something. You know, they're just they're they're just a step a step off in some of these games. But they're they're really a quality side. They're they're athletic. Uh, they get the ball wide. They take people on 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 the wings and get service. Uh, it's going to be a tough game. Um, it, you know. Uh, just another one of those, another one of those battles. You know, looking at the uh, league, st- you know, statistics that we got last night. You look at, you know, Verve. You look at Alex, and, and then you look at Katie. When's the last time that we've had a pair with twelve points and another one with ten points and sitting right there in the top of the individual statistical leaders in the conference? Yeah, it's pretty exciting. Uh, it's it's exciting to have a couple of uh, different targets and different go-to players. All three of them have performed amazingly this this season, and, and that's not even to mention all of the ones who go under the radar, who who maybe aren't point getters, but people who really uh, help us uh, secure wins. Uh, we have a, a pretty good, well-rounded team, I think, and also uh, you know I think the the off-the-field camaraderie and and, and um, chemistry has really uh, lended itself well to to what we're doing on the field as well. You know, one of the other questions, and I'm going to draw on your experience as a former professional player, gold medalist with the U.S. team, how the set pieces that Verve is, she's done it twice this year, and she did it a couple times last year. Just how does she have that knack on set pieces to just get goals? Because it's just unbelievable. You know, every time she steps up, she's got a chance to put it in the back of the net. She's just a gamer, man. She's a, she's a goal scorer, and uh, I think when she sees um, little little bits of uh, of freedom, she she's able to get the ball right there. It's uh, it's it's not without a lot of hours and hours of practice, and uh, she she's put a couple of, of pretty big goals away, pretty big uh, goals away for us. Yeah, no doubt. Well, great stuff. Good luck on Friday, and we'll talk to you next week. All right. The women take on Missouri S&T this coming Friday. They get the bye week on Sunday, so only one game this week. You'll be able to follow all the action on the JLVC Sports Network from Rolla. You'll also be able to follow us on Twitter at Maryville Saints. For Coach, I'm Jim Powers. Thanks so much for tuning in to MaryvilleSaints.com and Saints Vision. Have a great week, and as always, go Saints.